Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I thought I would revisit an old technique with a fresh twist. Today I'm going to show you how to do um, bleach stamping, and I'm adding in a little something extra with going back in after the bleach is dried and adding some details with standard colored ink. I think you'll really enjoy this technique, especially how easy it is to do and how you can adapt it to almost any stamp set that is in your collection. To begin with today, I'm going to show you how to make your own bleach ink pad. It's really easy to do. Um, you want something to set the ink pad in, first of all, the bleach pad rather, and I just took half of the old CD case here, and I've got a piece of paper towel and I'm going to fold this so that there's several layers to it. Just like so. So you can see there, there's several layers. After all that folding, I'm going to set it on this tray. And then I've got just some regular Clorox bleach here. And I'm just going to pour some on this paper towel. Not too much. You just want to saturate it, okay. and that will be um, what I'm using to get my bleach onto my stamps throughout my projects today. To start with, I am going to take a piece of berry sorbet cardstock that I've cut to size. And I've got a variety of stamps here from Garden of Life, stamps that we released several years ago. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this folded up paper towel with the bleach um, just as I would a normal ink pad and I'm going to ink up my stamp. I'm using um, the large solid rose image from Garden of Life for this. And I'm just going to stamp this a couple times. Let's see, I'm going to put another one down here. And I'm going to do it a third time. Right over here. Next, I want to add some stems. I'm using the large stem from Garden of Life. Like that. And then I've got the little fern image from Turning a New Leaf. And I'm going to add that to each of the stems. Like so. And just to add a bit more detail, I've got two of the flower center dots from Garden of Life. And I'm going to add those to kind of fill in some of my blank spots. And when you do this technique, um, different colors of cardstock will react differently to the bleach. So you can kind of experiment with the different colors and see how many different effects you can get. It's kind of fun how you could stamp the same card same pattern on a different color cardstock and you can end up with different results. I'm just going to add some more of these dots. It's kind of magic to see the color changing as you're working too. They get lighter and lighter. Now I'm going to set this aside to dry for a minute before we move on to uh, the next step. To finish this card, I'm going to go in with the um, Swirled Rose image from Garden of Life, 
and I'm going to use Berry Sorbet ink. And I'm going to stamp that right on top of the bleached out areas. And you want to make sure this is completely dry before you do this because the bleach can just bleach your ink right out that you're stamping. If it's not all the way dry. I'm stamping these slightly off center from the bleached areas just so it looks a bit more artistic. Next I'm going to take um, Simply Chartreuse ink with a small dot stamp from Garden of Life and I'm going to add a little dot of that Simply Chartreuse to each of these larger polka dots that we bleached out earlier just to add another punch of color. And then it's time to turn this into a card. Here, to finish this card, I stamped a Thinking of You sentiment from Up, Up, and Away in black, and I've adhered this to a Simply Chartreuse card base. For my next project, um, I'm using Butterfly Dreams, and I'm gonna use the same process except this time I'm using Canyon Clay cardstock and I've got a large butterfly image here. Several light taps is all you really need to get good coverage on these stamps with the bleach. I'm going to put a little piece right here as well. Okay, now I've got the smaller version of the same butterfly, and I'm just going to add that in a few places here as an accent. I kind of like how the bleach. almost has an artistic effect with these stamps because the image is a little imperfect. I think you'll really like that as well. Before I set this aside to dry, I'm going to take some bleach on a paintbrush. I just have some in a little jar right here. And I'm just going to kind of add droplets there with my finger and this paintbrush. Just kind of flick it on there. You could do the same thing with a, with a toothbrush. See all the little droplets. Adds even more to the artistic look. And now I'm going to let this go ahead and dry. To finish this, now that it's dry, I'm going to use Canyon Clay ink. And I've got another one of the butterflies, smaller butterflies, from Butterfly Dreams. And I'm just going to ink this up, and I'm going to add this to the center of each of the larger butterflies. Like that. I'm also going to add this small solid butterfly in a few places. I love how you can kind of overlap the stamped images with the bleached images to get this really cool effect. To complete my card, I'm going to use a sentiment from Signature Greetings 2, and I'm going to ink it up with dark chocolate ink, and I'm going to layer it right on top of my background. Like this. 
just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this onto a classic craft A2 card base. And there's the completed card. I'm using um, an image from Stitches and Swirls, which is a bit more detailed. But I wanted to show you how you can use detailed stamps with this as well. So I'm inking this up, inking this up on the um, bleach pad. And I'm going to create a whole background with this on Autumn Rose cardstock. And as you can see, it comes out really, really, really cool with this particular stamp. I'm going to fill in a couple of the edges here since it's a background. So there is that. And I'm going to set this aside for a second to dry. This is dried. I'm going to go in and add some details with Scarlet Jewel ink. I've got a little, um, I don't know, decorative accent here that I've taken from Modern Basics. And I'm going to add this to the base of each of the large leaves on my background pattern, just like this. And now I've got a small dot stamp that um, is from Garden of Life. And I'm just going to add a small solid dot to the center of each of the flowers. And I think that is all of those. To complete this card, I'm going to use a sentiment from Calendar Basics that allows you to add the month of the birthday card recipient, which is kind of a neat thing to do for people. They generally like something that's customized just for them. I'm going to stamp this sentiment in Scarlet Jewel ink onto Sweet Blush cardstock. It's got two parts and I spaced everything correctly on my block um, before stamping that. And next I'm going to add the month of August, also in Scarlet Jewel, right in the appropriate spot, just like that. I have this completed card. I hope you enjoyed the projects I've shared with you today and especially this um, double time bleach stamping technique. As you can see, you can adapt it to so many different kinds of stamp sets and different kinds of projects. And I hope that you can look at your stamp collection with uh, fresh eyes and can come up with some cool designs of your own. I hope you come back and share them with us. And thanks for joining us today.